Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomo's Biology. And in this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the difference in transcription in between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. So we've been talking about the differences lately. We talked about the gene regulation differences between eukaryotes and prokaryotes. But now, if we talk about the difference in transcription level, now to understand that, first we need to know what is transcription. In a basic sense, transcription is the production of RNA from DNA. So we have the double-stranded DNA, which carry all the informations to make proteins and do all the functional stuff in the cell. Now, DNA cannot work by going everywhere because you know you need to, to work properly, you need to produce proteins, which will give us the visibility or the effect phenotypic effects mainly. So in this case, what DNA can do, DNA produces mRNA. mRNA can go and mRNA can be easy to handle inside the cell because DNA gives the information and DNA sit at a specific point in the cell. It produces mRNA who acts as a messenger. So we call it messenger RNA as well or mRNA. Now mRNA can be translated into protein products. Okay, and then protein do all the stuff inside the cell. So the production of RNA from DNA is known as transcription. And the transcription process works like the DNA double strands are separated. And one of the strand of the DNA is taken as a template strand to produce the transcript known as the RNA. Now the process of this RNA production is completely different in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Not completely, the, the mechanism is however the same, but there are some functional differences present there. Now if you look at the prokaryotes, what happened in prokaryote is that prokaryotic cell, the process of transcription takes place in the cytosol, while in eukaryotic cell, the process of transcription takes place in the nucleus. Because in eukaryotes, we have nucleus membrane brown long organelle where we have the DNA, DNA is present. DNA replication take place in the nucleus, transcription take place in the nucleus, RNA modification takes place in the nucleus. While in prokaryotes, there is no nucleus, so all the process I have been telling you about, all this other process we discussed, none of them work in nucleus, so everything works in the cytosol itself. So there is no organelle, no complexity, just the genetic material, DNA is floating in the cytosol, so transcription in the cytosol and translation also in the cytosol. So this is the first difference. The second difference is how the transcription is done and, and what are the degree of transcription and uh, the limit of the transcription process. In prokaryotes, there is only simple stage that there is the DNA, it will be transcribed, RNA will be made and that RNA which is prepared is fully functional and they can be translated into proteins then and there. But in eukaryotes if you look, the RNA they produce inside the nucleus, the first RNA that is generated from DNA after transcription is known as premature mRNA. Now that premature RNA is not properly made. The premature mRNA do not have the capability of making proteins then and there. Now the premature mRNA should be matured, should be modified. How we modify that? There are several different modification stages because you know this DNA portion, this RNA of eukaryotes carries so many junk element in the RNA segment. Junk element means if I draw it here, I hope it will be better to draw here. There are two types of segments found. This blue segments and the red segments. Let's say the blue segments are known as introns and the red segments are known as exons. Exons are the elements which carry all the coding elements. That means the sections that will code for proteins. While these intron elements do not contain any coding genes in there. So they cannot produce any protein. So they are junk in that sense because we need the production of proteins. So this is the premature mRNA condition. So prior to the protein synthesis, we need to cleave these exons out from the introns and we need to join the exons together. 
and this exon which is completely now filled with coding elements can be synthesized into proteins. This is the idea in eukaryotes. This is known as splicing. The splicing event takes place inside the nucleus. There are also several modifications. In the 5 prime range, in the 5 prime look, position of the mRNA, there is a capping known as 5 prime capping, addition of a guanosine residue invertedly. In the 3 prime location, there will be repeated addition of adenine residues called as 3 prime polyadenylation that is also unique in eukaryotes and all this thing is taken place inside the nucleus and after they make the mRNA mature enough with 3 prime adenylation, poly, uh, 5 prime capping, splicing, even sometimes some sort of RNA editing take place that is also inside the nucleus and then they produce the RNA and then that RNA when it is called mature RNA, it is taken out into the cytosol, then they will produce proteins. So this is several rounds of complexity in the eukaryotic transcription, while there is only one round in prokaryotic transcription. Third important difference, the process of transcription and protein synthesis that is translation is kind of coupled together in prokaryotes. So they are known as transcription coupled translation or transcription coupled protein synthesis. Because you know in prokaryotes they need to divide their cells so much rapidly, they do not have the time to first produce the RNA first and then take the RNA and make proteins out of it. In this case the best way they can go is that to save some time, a long time when they are producing mRNA, they are keeping translating that mRNA. I am going to show you how exactly it looks like. If I extend it a little bit, we can show you that. Let us say here, this is the DNA, RNA is being produced, let us say. Uh, let me reduce that and draw it in different way. Let us say this is the DNA. This is a transcription bubble, for example, and the RNA is being generated. Let us say this is the RNA, okay. RNA is being generated, 5 prime at the end, uh, 3 prime at this side, okay. Now, as you see, in this transcription process, small part of the RNA is already being generated and it is now, it, it is keep generating and the directionality is this side, it, it keep generating. Now, the part which is already generated, ribosome already sit on it and they start translating proteins, okay. They start making polypeptide chains along with when the transcription is going on, it is not complete yet, the transcription is going, processing, a ribosomes also sit there in the mRNA, newly formed mRNA which is not at all completely formed and they start trans translating it. So, transcription and translation carried out almost at the same time simultaneously, transcription coupled protein synthesis. This thing is a unique feature of prokaryotes which you will not find in eukaryotes. In eukaryotes you have to first make the RNA, you need to do the splicing, process it, add all these groups modifications, take them out in the cytosol, then protein synthesis. Now the fourth difference in transcription level. In prokaryotes, the RNA polymerase is the enzyme that produces the RNA from the DNA. In eukaryotes also, RNA polymerase is the enzyme who convert the DNA into RNA. But in prokaryotes, the RNA polymerase prokaryotes use, it is much more versatile. All the type of RNA that is found in prokaryotes, mainly three types, rRNA, mRNA and tRNA. Three types of RNA is being produced by only one enzyme that is RNA polymerase. Single RNA polymerase have the capability of producing mRNA, rRNA, tRNA. But in case of eukaryotes, they have allotted three separate RNA polymerases to make three separate RNAs. RNA polymerase 1 produces rRNA, polymerase 2 produces mRNA, polymerase 3 produces tRNA okay, versatility. But in prokaryotes, 
one single RNA polymerase make everything there. Another thing which I also mentioned in the expression uh, difference class. This is the fifth difference we are talking about. During the, during the transcription process and, and the process of transcription when the RNA is produced, the transcript which should be translated into proteins, that transcript is polycystronic prokaryotes and this is monocystronic in eukaryotes. Now what do we mean by that? If you look at here, in prokaryotes, multiple genes are regulated by only one promoter. So, once we do the translation, we will produce multiple proteins in chains through only one promoter. This is known as polycystronic because multiple genes are placed together under a single promoter. In eukaryote, a single gene is placed under a single promoter. So, this is mono means single cystronic expression. That is another difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic transcription. Now, if you want to find, you will find 15, 20 differences, but these are the major differences guys, okay. And when you are answering any differences and questions, do not try to find as many as you can. Think of the major differences. I can extend each of those differences in two or three different lines about it. So, you can make 15, 20 different types of differences only from this five that we talked about. You can extend that. There is nothing uh, to extend that, right. Because, for example, say I can say that uh, the, the, the for each enzyme, let us say pro uh, prokaryotic transcription, we have a specific uh, factors for the transcription process, uh, transcription factors if we need them or not. In eukaryotes, we need a lot of transcription factors inside. In prokaryotes, we do not need that much of transcription factors. We need only the RNA polymerase who have the sigma factor. With the help of that, they recognize the start point, the promoter area and then start producing the RNA. But in eukaryotes, we need multiple transcription factors, TF2, TF3, TF4 and TF2D, TF2F, so many varieties are there. Now, if you want to write about all the stages and all the differences, they will be huge. But I am going to talk about those ones which are really important to think of and really distinguish between prokaryote and eukaryotic cells. So, this in a sense is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription and I hope this video helps you. Thank you for watching. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that. And definitely hit a like. Right? Thank you.